What's going on guys? Sin for the win here and welcome to our franchise mode for NHL 18 with the Vegas Golden Knights and I was just taking a look at some of these rosters right here but before we get too much further I am doing a giveaway for a copy of NHL 18 for the console of your choice now all you got to do is comment below with the hashtag sin giveaway and uh, let me know when it is that you found my channel and you will be entered into the drawing there's also a giveaway going on on Twitter as well so if you want to head over to Twitter follow me I'm at sin for the win prod prod because I couldn't fit the whole thing in there and uh, you'll find it there as well as a a retweet going off and you can be entered into there as well to increase your chances i am giving away two copies total for either console everything ends monday so there you have it but here we go we're going to take a look at this team and also take a look at perhaps anyone who needs to be increased overall wise or potential wise and things like that so no, now remember the overalls are very different this year a lot the overalls are just completely lower some of the stats are are still similar like um i feel like the overalls aren't indicative so much of like a change here like the the stats are kind of similar like the individual stats i just think they they weigh less on the overall now um but they are still they, they they got a little bit of a nerf as well not a huge amount as the overalls did but a little bit of a nerf for sure but uh yeah so he's, he's uh 84 he's listed to be first line now that also has to do with like maybe the team he's on as well he would be listed to be third first line on this team but yeah he's uh he's our top guy so what we need to decide is what we would want to do with this team and i think obviously a rebuild is in order but you might want to hold on to a few of these guys and uh see what you could get out of them at least to uh, boost up your season ticket sales and things like that but uh my goodness quite a few things here so they do have some young talent here let's sort by potentials no elite potential guys so there you have it no elite potential guys some guys not too young we're gonna have to draft pretty damn heavily now shay theodore that could be someone we look towards but 22 77 overall uh this would be depth right now might need a get, get him maybe up to like 82 83 I, i'm have to i'm already having to try to adjust to uh the new overalls and stuff but i think 82 83 is like top four these days who knows but uh my goodness forwards i mean yeah we are uh we're looking at not too much to work with right off the bat with, with the way that things look yeah your defensive core that's not a defensive core man definitely not a defensive core uh wait a sec where's uh did they send him down or something hold on that can't be right in the system oh no he's not even here Oh, that's right. I think they trade him. Sorry. I'm looking for Schlemko. I'm like, yeah, I think they flipped him. My bad. Okay. Uh, anyway. But yeah. Not too much to work with. But they do have Mark andre Oh, they did. They were generous to him, man. 86 overall. I'm not going to say he's a bad player. Don't get me wrong. But with all the overall like nerfs, I didn't think he'd still be 86 overall. But he indeed is. So I think you hold on to him even though you're not a great team. Maybe you trade him eventually. But it's it's flurry, man. It's flurry. And you still got pick cards. So your goalie situation isn't terrible. It's uh, the rest of the stuff that is not that good. So it's definitely a rebuilder no matter how you look at it. Even with the new overall system. Definitely a rebuilder. But what I'm interested in is, is there anyone here that you guys see that needs a bit of bump in potential? Tuck, Glass Suzuki, let's see here. I'm going to see if I can spot anyone here. Yeah, I'm not... Mm, Colasar. <laughs> Rip. Bottom six potential. Okay, well, I'm looking at... This is just forwards, by the way, but uh, let me see. Let's go all skaters in the potentials here. So, yeah, Tuck, Glass. This is in the system, so... Suzuki, top six potentials, things like that. So, they get up to... Well, you don't know what they get up to, but they have top six. So, they could get up to, like, first or second line, which is anywhere between, like, what... 82 85 ish area with the new overalls i'll have to get used to that man it's been so long at one thing you got to get used to it but yeah not too much. a couple defensive prospects not great this green top nine though oh he's already he's 78 never mind yeah or sorry he's 25 so he's yeah he's pretty much done by the looks of it he's probably he's a third line scorer not the greatest offensive stats not the greatest defensive stats but i think you hold on to him for a bit see see if he can grow 
a bit longer. But uh, yeah, Leipzig. Yeah, let me know if you want to see uh, anyone like increased. I'm. It's gonna be difficult because I mean the the new system itself. When I do increase players, I have to be careful and not do it how I used to do it or anything like that. So if you do see some changes, let me know. If it, especially if anyone's missing, because I, I didn't. I'm not. I wouldn't be a hundred percent sure if there are people missing here, but it does, I don't think there are really. Oh, that's a different one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not seeing anyone that's missing. But again, I could be completely wrong. They've there's been a lot of stuff going on. But yeah, Perron, man, he's a second liner on this team. Not bad with his offensive stats though, so it's not terrible. So yeah, maybe you hold on a few of these guys. But if you want to go full rebuild, I'd say you start blowing stuff up. Maybe use some guys for a while, but start trading them. Start, start getting picks, man. You want to see who you can get for picks, or maybe just pick throw them off early. Who knows? But uh. You do, you will have enough players. I mean, I would pick up, I'd get, like, for Neil Perron, I'd probably, maybe in this guy, probably look at guys like, um, like, you can get some more prospects. Like, maybe you can squeeze in some top six guys, but really, picks are the way you want to go, especially with the new draft system. You can find elites so deep, and red elites can go super late in the draft. It's, it's a great feature. That's what I've been, you know... I've been loving that. You don't have to just look at, you know, guess you see, oh, their elite potential, but where's their trade value? And that's more indicative of like how they're going to grow and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. So I won't, I probably won't be starting quite yet unless I don't really know if there'll be any roster changes that I would want to make. Um, most of the guys I'm looking at, especially on like main roster, I'm kind of satisfied with, at least with the new overall system. So uh, how, uh, uh Poor guy. He's a third liner as well. Yeah, he's about done growing. He's he's he is done growing. He can yeah. Oh Bellamere. <laughs> Grabowski, yeah. You're gonna be a really bad team. Now you hold on to these trash players with like no trade value. But that's another thing. I wanna check out how these trade values things are gonna work. Cause that's gonna be very important. But there's a team. That's how the team's looking. No elite elite players right now. Alright, let's see. Let's check out the trades here. Oh, you could just mm, nice. Okay, look, yeah, 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 shut up. Shut up, I know how to do things. Alrighty, so, ooh, the values, man, not too much, but that could be, maybe values are just also a lot lower. Yeah, but Neil, all right, so let's see. What what kind of value does a first have these days? Or is it just gonna be way harder to get first? Okay, that's not too bad, yeah, that's not too bad. Beautiful, okay, so it's not, it looks like everything's just taking a nosedive a bit. So, all right, yeah, you could pick up, you could easily get a first for James Neal. And probably a few to <laughs> Yeah, Vancouver ones. They don't want to give up their picks, but they want someone like that. Yeah, they got Marlo on the block already. Rip <laughs> the game. Oh, man. So, yeah, you'd have to... Really? Sharks are listed as champions, huh? <laughs> I want to see what, what their player ratings are. I just got to check. Yeah, Burnsy 90 overall, son. Hype. Hype Burnsy. Pavs 88. All right, that's... Wow, yeah. That's really nice. Couture, 85, yeah. Where's... Th whoa, whoa, wait a sec. Thornton, they went to 84. Yeah, I mean, he, he's declining. That makes sense. Still a first liner, though. Still a first liner. When it's tremendous. And, yeah, he's still got amazing offensive stuff. Yeah. Oh, poor Hurdle. Oh, they, they even freaking lowered in the top six potential these days, too. All right, anyway. Getting a little carried away there. Oh, they, they, they sang Hurdle is as good as Bodker. Bump, all right, it, it, it bump Hurdle up one or two overall, and then just bump Bodker down about five, and then you'll be good. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so, okay, so I was, I was more looking at trade values and stuff like that, but yeah, Burnsy. Some of the trade values are the same. I feel like those picks are a bit different, unless I find, unless I go, <laughs> Philly's listed as a rebuilder now. So if I went to the, okay, yeah, so there they that's a lot more value and that should change over time but with a team like we have with not a lot of trade value if you want to go the rebuild route you're gonna to want to trade four picks right now basically and for whoever wants him <laughs> nashville wants james neal back uh i would consider that but yeah okay so trade values are kind of similar but um a lot of the guys who used to have really high trade value are a lot lower now. And it looks like guys start declining in trade value before they even hit certain eight. Well, yeah, I think they start declining trade value-wise quicker. That's at least what it looks like to me. 
But all right, yeah, we're team chemistry caution. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Does <laughs> there's no like listing on the but caution is the team chemistry. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, sweet. There's like stand you can go to here. And I think, can you check stats from here too? Or yes, you can. Beautiful. Okay. So that's your stats bar. That's good to know. And you can go team lead. Oh, you can just click on team leaders. Oh no, this just leads you right back to the same spot. Okay. That's kind of neat, I guess. Leads you right back to the same spot. And then I hear the simulation engine is a lot quicker. And here's the calendar right here. So we're not going to, obviously this isn't real, but I'm just going to sim and see how quick this simulation engine is and try to get hyped about that. Let's see. Simulate up to this day. Oh, that already felt faster. Like right there. Okay. Scout doesn't matter, but let's see what the scout is. It's the same. Yeah. It looks like the same bees everywhere though. Oh, except in Europe. We got some A's a minus is in Europe. So let's say we just scout there. Let's see how it sims. Oh yeah. That is definitely quicker way quicker all right that's great news and our team's fucking amazing in preseason <laughs> that's because we have all our good guys out there yeah 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 salary cap compliance no that feels yeah that felt great okay beautiful beautiful okay so simulation is going to be a lot faster don't worry i'm not saving this i'm going to see if i want to edit any rosters and stuff like that before i do anything like that but let's see what it made our lines right now and let's see what the computer says is going to be our lines. so no off don't want you fucking assistant coach david clarkson yeah they uh paid a hefty price to ship this guy's contract off who, who was really trying to take a look till he's wow dude all right well we'll probably just hold on to clarkson until he retires just because um he's just he's got no value on him and you, you're gonna we're gonna want to stay afloat with the with the salary anyway so oh man yeah Carrier, uh, he's at least fourth line. So another thing I'm gonna have to find out is how to make guys grow. I'm gonna have to do a lot of experimenting, a lot of experimenting here. But yeah, that's what they're saying. The defensive cores are gonna be so top sixes are like 78 to like 80, at least 80, 81. No, top four is when they start being 80. Okay. Oh, but he's listed top six. Interesting. Must be have a bit to do with their defensive stats. Or maybe it's because he's younger. Who knows? But yeah, our defense, of course. Shite. Absolute shite. But our goalies are awesome. Is, is Fleury listed elite? Oh, starter. Oh, oh poor Fleury. <laughs> he might have a bit of value, though, too. So if we want to go the full rebuild route, maybe we do get rid of Fleury right away. Even though that's so tough to do because you love flower. You got to love flower. Now, this guy, even though he's only 24, he might grow a few more overall, man. He's got that green. He's 24. Never know what he's got left in the tank. Howl is pretty much done, so you you probably play him a, a line above anyway. But yeah. yeah, I don't know if there's you guys. Let me know if there's anyone missing or anything like that, or guys that you want to see increases to potential or slight bumps to overall. Remember, overalls aren't the same, so we are only going to be very very slight bumps, like maybe one overall, if that, or just bump up a couple of their stats. You know, so I'll do I'll do a little bit of check in, maybe go around the league and, and change a few things that I would maybe see. Um, but for the most part. Maybe just leave it as it is for this first one and uh, just see if we want to change anyone on our, our team for the most part. And I don't go as crazy as some other people do with the rosters, but I will probably go a little bit more in-depth this year for it. So, that takes care of it. We will start this fully in the next one, but we just wanted to get a quick look look at like what we're going to do. But I'm pretty. it looks pretty clear that we should be a rebuilder. But maybe, like I said, hold on to a few of these guys. See how we do. Maybe we can be competitive in the first year. Maybe we don't want to throw in the towel just yet. Maybe Flurry is that much of a beast. So let me know what you guys think. Remember to leave that like. And I'll see you in the next one.